video so that everybody can see me. Uh, we will be go ahead and get getting started. Um, the the topic for tonight, my friends, the topic for tonight, and uh, you know what I what I wanted what I wanted to do is I wanted to instead of just having a, a Google Hangout to where we just talk about nothing, you know, for an hour, or two hours, or however long this this thing is going to take. I really, I kind of sat down and I thought, you know, what can we do, what can we do for you guys, for those of you guys who are trying to make money in this industry, those of you guys who have tried to, you know, maybe you tried other things before, maybe you have tried to make money online before, maybe you have tried, you know, different businesses before, offline or, off, or online, so that's the situation, um, and maybe you are, maybe you have succeeded before, maybe you have not succeeded before, regardless of your situation, you know, what can we do uh, to help you get to the next level? So that 
Ross, they intentionally put some nice uh, hangout because I want to give you guys so much in value. I want to give you guys so much, uh, um, so many golden nuggets, I like to call it, right? So many golden nuggets that if you apply half of them, if you apply half of them, my friend, you should be able to break through your business to the level that most people are going to think that this is just unbelievable, ridiculous, or crazy because you can't, right? My friends, here's the deal. I started in this industry, okay? I started in this industry eight years ago, and I started out uh, working at a banking industry before that, okay? My background was no, I did not have any marketing experience at all. I did not have any, you know, any business skills, any people skills, any influence skills at all, like zero, okay? Nothing. I was a banker. I was actually working at the collection uh, department at a bank, uh, calling people up on the phone, you know, all day long. That's what I was doing, calling people up and saying, you know, people who didn't pay their credit card uh, bills, and I would collect money. Okay, that's what I was doing uh, for um, ever since I you know, was in high school. And so uh, I got started in this industry because I had a dream. Okay? Just kind of like a lot of you guys have a dream right now. Okay? My dream was to create myself and my family a lifestyle that you know, we really want. I wanted to provide, as a man, for, as a man of the house, I wanted to provide you know, the best for my family, the best for my wife. Uh, and I was looking at all these guys who were, you know, making money online and the screenshots and the videos and, and you know, the, the internet marketer's lifestyle that we see uh, a lot of people portray, right? And I was looking at that and I'm like, man, you know, how awesome would it be to have that, to have that lifestyle? And here I am working at this, you know, at this bank and I'm earning like $300 a week in paycheck, maybe 350 bucks a week. You know, if I got lucky, I got a bonus uh, or something like that. But, um, uh, and, and, and we lived in an apartment, you know, one bedroom apartment, uh, and every single, every single dollar that I earned, it went back to pay for the bills and pay for the, uh, you know, to put, put on a table for myself and my family. And I had a dream, you know, I wanted to work online, I wanted to work from home, I wanted to be around my wife, I wanted to be around my kids, you know, I thought when they have kids, I wanted to be around them as much as possible. We did not want somebody else to raise our children. That was my goal, that was my motivation, that was my big dream. And my, my thing was, folks, when I was just getting started, when I was just looking into this thing, um, I thought to myself, well, if I, can, if, I can, if I can make enough money to pay our, you know, to pay our bills, to, to, you know, to buy you know, nicer clothes, to, you know, if my initial, um, like, immediate goal was to get myself to $5,000 per month in income. I thought to myself, if I can get to $5,000 per month in income, you know, we would have... You know, we would have uh, a lot of things taken care of in life, and a lot of things are going to be taken care of. And, and the thing is, you know, people come to me all the time, and they're like, you know, they usually people who are broke, people who are struggling, and people who don't believe that they can make it, but they're, but yet they're still trying. This is something interesting I found out. You know, people say that the money is not everything, and you know what? This is a hundred percent true. Some things in life. Some things in life that we get for free, okay, you cannot put a price tag on that. I mean, how much would you pay for for your eyes, for you to be able to see the world? You know what I mean? I mean, that's some, some things in life that money just cannot buy, no matter how much, you know, you, you, you make or whatever, right? I mean, some things like, you know, like having a, a great relationship with, you know, with your, with your spouse, with your husband, with your family, with your kids. You know, it's, it's having friendships. I mean, some, some things in life that money just cannot buy. But let me tell you something, my friend. If you're listening, if you're on here tonight, let me tell you something. If you have money freedom, if you don't have to worry about money, there is a whole lot, whole lot of things that you can buy that will make you happier. Okay? That will make you happier. And so, my thing was, you know, I, I thought, you know, if I could get to $5,000 per month, that would be awesome. Uh, and I got started, I was looking at different opportunities. To make a long story short, friends, I got started in the business opportunity uh, world, in the biz up world, uh, that was eight years ago. And when I got started, guys, uh, I actually had to borrow $30,000. I'm not gonna go into that story a lot because I know a lot of you guys have heard that story. I actually had to borrow $30,000 to get started. Uh, borrowed it from a friend of mine who borrowed it against his, you know, his loan uh, at a bank. So, uh, but I was, I was, I, I had to find a way. I got so fired up about this industry. I, I did not want to do anything else. Um, I thought to myself, if I can get my foot in the door, if I can at least get started with something out there, I'm going to find a way to make this work. And my thing, you know, I'm, I'm big about not having a plan in your life. So, some of you guys are listening to me tonight. Guys, I want you to start believing that what you want is actually possible. I want you to start believing in yourself. You know, when I got started in this industry, when I was failing for the first uh, probably good year and a half or so, I was failing miserably because I was listening to people who were pretending to be making money online, 
people who were pretty, people who were you know posting uh, you know their, their their fake screenshots you know and that's what we see a lot that's going on in this industry people posting screenshots you know how much money they're making but the truth of the matter with a lot of them so-called gurus out there right the truth of the matter is they're they're broke they're broke I did not know this at the time and I was following them and I was doing what they were telling me to do but I did not have any results as a matter of fact in a doubt. Uh, between about 60 and 90 days of my journey into this online venture, um, uh, I, I invested $20,000 or about $20,000 uh, in on marketing, just you know, buying different advertisements, you know, uh, campaigns, setting up campaigns, and stuff like that. Uh, and uh, I just wait. I just blew through $20,000 of the borrowed 30 that I had, uh, and did not make a dime back. Did not make a single sign up. Did not make a single um, a single sale with what I was doing, and I was promoting a business opportunity at that time. Which, you know, for every sale I'd make, I would make like at least a thousand dollars up to two thousand dollars per sale, depending on the level, you know, what product, what package they bought, and stuff like that. Um, so, my, you know, I, I, looking back right now, and, and what I want to, what I want to talk to you guys tonight is that I know that some of you guys are going through, you know, through the period in your life right now that um, you are, you know. It's called a grind, right? A grind. You guys are grinding. You guys are trying. You know, you're trying to make money online. Maybe you're, you know, maybe you're investing money into advertisement. Maybe you guys are doing a bunch of things, right? Uh, as far as your actual work that you think that you need to be doing, right? As an internet marketer, that we think that you know we need to get as much traffic to our site as possible, and that's true, right? That is true. We need to get that. We need to, you need to learn how to advertise your, you know, your website. You need to learn how to work to get traffic and stuff like that. Which, by the way, we're gonna we're gonna cover some of those topics as well tonight. Okay. Again, my goal is to give you guys so much value here. It's, it's gonna be a Not only for myself, but you know, with all these people on the panel. Um. But as I'm looking back, you know, what what really did it for me, my friends? What really did it for me? What was my turning point in my business? Because picture this, and put yourself in my position. You borrow thirty thousand, you invest twenty thousand, and you, 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 you know you blow through twenty thousand dollars, and you have zero money coming in in your business. Not even one sign up. You know what happens a lot of times is a lot of times we get discouraged, right? A lot of times, if this happens to you, if you invested some money into marketing or whatever, you know, and you don't see results immediately, right? A lot of people get discouraged. And and my friends, this is what. This is a, a, a downward spiral. This is what I see uh, a lot of people are, are getting kind of uh, trapped into, is they try something, right? It doesn't work. They jump on something else. What I want to do for you guys tonight is I'm going to lay out a blueprint that I think that if you if you, if you just follow the blueprint I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lay out for you, right? Guys, I'm going to teach you from my experience. I'm going to teach you from for what did it for me. But not only that. Not only that, that, that this stuff helped me personally, right? This stuff helped literally thousands of people that I have shared it with. Okay, these guys who are on the panel, they'll talk about some of their breakthroughs and what really did it for them, right? Now, some of these guys are on the panel here. Uh, you know, they they're just getting started. I mean, Mark Soto, we got Miles. You know, we got the uh, uh, Aki here. We got Paul Olafrenko. We got Paul Barroso, who tried to make money, you know, for like seven or eight years online. He's gonna tell you his story. We got uh, Steven Monson here. Some of these guys are just getting started online and friends, okay? Friends, listen, the stuff that we're going to be sharing is the stuff that these guys are apply, applying in their business and in their, in their life, and it's it's making a, a, a huge difference for them as well, okay? So what are the things that made a difference for me? Well, what really did it for me is um, I got myself a mentor, and I'm, I'm just kind of going to take you back a little bit because I think it's going to be important for you to realize, for you to really understand, to get the full kind of get all the pieces to the puzzle, and then if, when you when you get all the pieces to the puzzle, when you guys can put it together as a big picture, right, when you see this, this thing as a big picture, I think uh, it's going to make a lot of sense to you, uh, because a lot of times what happens in our industry here is we get one piece here from this marketer, one piece here from this marketer, you know, maybe some uh, 